By 10.30 a.m., Prime Minister Mama Mbabazi was arriving to commission Bujagari Dam, which has been undergoing construction for more than four years now. Mbabazi toward the project under construction by Sarini Construction Company on behalf of the Aga Khan Foundation. Bujagari is expected to produce 250 megawatts of power by July this year. And the 50 megawatts which was connected to the national grid today raises hope that the ongoing road shedding will ease. From today, this turbine, this machine is producing 50 megawatts which it is delivering into the national grid. And it is going to be available all the time. Come March, we will no longer pay 27 cents per unit that we have been compelled to pay <coughs> to agree. At the time of its completion in July, it would have cost 860 million US dollars, approximately 2.1 trillion shillings. With the addition of the 50 this morning, we have a full installed capacity of 635 megawatts. Babazi says, Government is targeting to produce 3,885 megawatts of power by 2016, but decried the fact that the country had no capacity to store extra energy produced for eventualities. To say that at night we generate 300 or 600 and the unutilized 300 is stored somewhere. It doesn't happen. And we are not, I think, soon going to build capacity to store electricity. This extra energy is expected to be generated after the construction of Karuma Dam, which is expected to provide 650 megawatts, Ayago with 700 megawatts, Bugoye, Mpanga, Nyagaka, Buserukamanga, others. By 2016, we will be producing 3,885 megawatts. And this is the beginning. Baba say the Chinese have also expressed interest to construct at least three dams, but did not disclose details, citing technicalities in rules that govern bidding. The 50 megawatts on the national grid may be good news to Ugandans, but State Minister for Energy Engineer Simon Dujang says this will not reduce the current new power tariff of the 550 shillings to the domestic consumer. If you calculate. That money we have been spending on subsidy can go and do other things, like a hospital, road, <coughs> schools, and things like this. So, this 50 megawatts is not going to reflect into a reduction <coughs> in the tariff. Currently, the country's consumption capacity is 455 megawatts of power during peak hours. Babas used the commission to rush at several opposition politicians including Rubaga South MP Johnny Kenru Chamuzi, Salam Musumba, Dr. Nabuiso, and Dr. Besige for attempting to block the Bujagari project. Our opposition, and particularly my good friend, Dr. Chiza Besige, I have given him his true name. He is Dr. No. They say no to progress. They say no to the people. Bujagari has been designed to last at least for 100 years. And since 2007, Bujagari Dam has been under construction and Ugandans have been anxious, waiting to see whether the dam will produce any unit of power. Today, 50 megawatts have been released to Ugandans and the government is promising that in the near future, there will be no road shedding. Dingo Francis, NTV, at Bujagari in Jinja.